Downtown Kampala traders have been halting some of their merchandise with belief that the prices will eventually go down. The taxes, long time back, time back, uh, taxes have been at the lower level. But this time, the taxes are high. So that's why also we decided to increase at least. Uh, and what seemed to be a short-term crisis on prices, have months down the road, prices are still up. It is not only the day economy affected by the price increment, but equally the night economy. Bars dealing in beer have increased some of their products, affecting the final consumer. This has forced brewer now brewers basing from their head offices to protest the increasing prices of their products by different agents. We believe that our consumers are even feeling greater pressure and their room for maneuver perhaps is more limited than ours. We are part of a multinational. We have tried and tested methods of operation and we may be able to absorb more shocks than the ordinary Ugandan who enjoys our beer. That being the case, we want to put it categorically that Nile Breweries has not and does not intend to increase the prices of our beer. The quality and ingredients of beer remains the same, accompanied by the various activations that will be maintained. The prices and the associated margins at which we recommend the distributors to sell to the stockists and ultimately to the retailers and finally to the consumers. So you will go out into markets and maybe you will pick up a bottle of Club 500 and you will see on the label RRP 3000 as it says up there as it has been for quite a while now and that is we have we do not have plans to change that at this point. Aria Ron Brewers beseeched government on the unstable taxes before government granted stability of taxes levied on beer for five years.